Hello there. Now that the Print Shift 5 simple prototype idea is kind of sort of barely fleshed out, let's kick it into high gear. I had a fair number of questions about the bed material. I'm really liking the cap on for the flexibility. The steel sheet is so flexible that I'm hesitant to put a thicker bed surface like PEI or Build Tech. That's good stuff to be sure, but the ease of rolling the shim stock around these 8mm rollers is worth preserving. I'm always really hesitant to dismantle a working system, but while this 3.0 ejector worked pretty well, it's definitely past its sell-by date. I am going to keep this giant rear motor mount for now because it's doubling as my Raspberry Pi mount, but let's get the motor and the microswitch off in favor of the PrintShip 5.0. I spent a long time in CAD and online researching, trying to work out the Ratchet and Paul system that I installed last week, which worked but was a bit fiddly kept missing teeth and the advanced distance just wasn't predictable enough. The one-way bearing and spread clutch I put on there, and how I was using got me immediately thinking of a rack and pinion, so I modeled this one up. I rotated the rack all the way around itself to form a cylinder, and then flattened one side. So with this you have a rack that can be turned on or off. I also printed this neat little auto return spring, not sure if it's strong enough but we'll see. So with this, you can use the Z-axis to turn on the ejector, using string technology, and the printed spring will return it back to uh, not ejecting. A little worried about losing steps on the Z in terms of pulling the string too far. Might add an extra spring into the system, but the ones I have in hand were a bit too weak. Some tweaking will get there without worrying about it. I never measured how much force the Z can exert, but rolling the ejector shouldn't take much. All the force is along the rack and pinion, not along the rotation. Man, that install just went swimmingly. I had a few iterations tweaking this to see how reliable I could get this guy, but now let's run a series of prints with ejection. I've got all the models for this ejector posted up on my GitHub. There's still tweaks to be made, but this machine is ready for Earth. Hope to see you all there this weekend. Thanks for watching, and uh, happy printing.